So I just walked in the house and what's on the TV is President Trump being impeached. So they have to vote for so many articles and all the articles have to be voted yay in order for him to be impeached. So they've already um, done the first article. I'm going to drop a picture here of the um, vote that said um, that voted for him to be impeached. Now they're voting on the second article. Now, I don't know how many articles they have to vote for, if it's two, if it's three, if it's five, but all articles have to be voted yay in order for him to be impeached. Now, don't get excited yet, because I know y'all thinking, oh, this is a, a wonderful thing. It may not be a wonderful thing, because see, it works like this. The person to be sworn into president will be Pence, which is the vice president, but they say, rumor has it that the vice president is worse than the president so we may not necessarily be better off if any of this makes sense to y'all it may have been better to wait and impeach him toward the end of 2020 instead of impeaching him now if the if the vice president is worse than trump so it ain't over yet it could get worse before it get better so we all need to pray because this really ain't nothing we can be happy about just yet so let's all pray that everything work out for the best and for the good, okay? So let me get back into this TV and watch the rest of this. I'll be back. While all this is happening, Trump is on stage right now at a, uh, I don't know if you call it a rally at, at the thing where you um, be getting people to vote for other Republicans and re-vote for himself or whatever. So keep in mind that I don't think he knows just yet. Like at this minute, like this is history, y'all. It is 7:48 p.m. Central Time where I am. So um, I don't know, but they still saying he's seeking re-election for the next term. I don't know, y'all. This is something you need to pay attention to because it affects your kids. It affects all of us, so. Y'all heard that. It's not over yet because those are just the votes to officially impeach him. So he's still the acting president. In order for him to be impe imp impeached, now it has to go to trial. So once it goes to trial, he has to be tried on both Article 1, Article 2, and C. If he'll be impeached. But again, like I said, he's campaigning and rallying wherever. So let I, I personally want to see his reaction when he find out. Okay, so now what we do is wait for his court trial and then his court trial it, when it comes up <clears throat> they have to rule um him guilty of all the article one article two stuff that he was accused of and so if the court find him guilty of all of that more than likely i don't know if they will more than likely they will but we have to wait and see so i can't say that they will you'll have to wait and see so anyway once they find him guilty of all of those then they'll have to um go by you know officially you just don't holler you're impeached and it's over it don't work like that you got to go through all the paperwork and all of that to denounce him and all of that kind of stuff and until that's done he's still our president whether we like it or not so let's sit and hang tight and see how this trial go in the meantime let's all tune in to that also whenever it starts so we'll hear more tomorrow about when the, um the trial day to start i'm figuring since it's the holidays more than likely sometime after the beginning of the year that'll start which would be good because what we how we want this to play out is we need this trial to play out where pence is not present for a long time so this is how we need all of this to play out i don't know i know a lot of y'all don't understand this but it's a process to this and it needs to play out accordingly or we'll be stuck with a, a president worse than the president that we have so let's hope you know it goes out well and we'll keep our fingers crossed.